hi friends how are you all doing welcome back to my channel i want to believe everybody's doing great wow where were we uh it's been long i've actually come on on the channel because of the tragic event that happened in my family uh today we are back to the series that i started before the tragic event that happened in my family which is things that can limit your upward movement so today we are taking on bitterness bitterness will be a state of lack of sweetness just like the name implies you know the opposite of sweet is bitter so it will mean that there is much resentment there is agony there is pain that is reserved in a person which altogether makes you a bitter person. So it means life happening can put you in that state of bitterness. Most of the time, we live in a world that we never ask to come. And here we are. There are people that will step on our shoes. There are events that will happen in our lives that may not make us to be that sweet person that we ordinarily are or that we used to be. But why I am here today is to tell you that bitterness will stop your upward movement. It will stop you from moving to your next level. You know, of course, the fact that you are bitter means you are a human being. It means you are able to reason to say this is what happened that you are not happy about. But the truth of the matter is if you remain in that state of bitterness, you cannot get better. You cannot do well in life. That is what I'm here to say. That no matter what the situation is, no matter where you've, you know, been hurting, no matter who has offended you, that had brought that bitterness to your soul, I'm telling you that you can move past that level and be a better person. When you are bitter, it's written all over you. People avoid you because you come with an aura that is not pleasing or that is not pleasant. So people try as much as possible to distance from you so that you don't infect them with your bitterness because it could be infectious you know that is it so life happens your ability to move past it is what is needed for your upward movement you know i once read a book was it a book or an, an article that they were asking uh twins they were twins they were asking them what was responsible for your success and what was responsible for your failure. And their answers were the same reason. <laughs> but they took it differently to heart, which produced what was not happening in their life. One said, I watch my father drink, always to stupor. And I told myself, that I would not want to end up like this. And they asked the other one. He said, I watch my father drink all the time. And I decided, well, that would be my way of life. You see, same thing happened to two different people or persons. And at the end of the day, they both make out what they want in that situation. So most of the time, it's not always what happened that matters. It's how you process it and how you try to, how you moved on from that situation. Some people, things will happen to them and they will say they prefer to be bitter and they will stay in that bitter state. And I'm telling you, it will not do you any good. It doesn't matter who has offended you. We tell people to forgive for their own self. We tell people to forgive for their own good. We tell people to forgive so that they will have that sanity of mind for them to forge ahead in life. All these things that are happening to us all, it is just life happening. We're not going to remain in that state. We need to forge ahead. There are situations that will happen. People will be bitter with God and they will say they are not going to serve God. You don't know if that is what is the best at that time for you that God had to allow it. So if God allows it, it means 
you can get past it if you are alive. If that thing did not take your life, you can get past it. Bitterness is not a state to be in. You discover that you are never a happy person when you are in that state. You discover people try to, you know, ab avoid your presence because there's nothing sweet about your life. But when you're able to pass through that situation and get past it honestly, you will use that situation to even help others, to let others know that you can move on no matter what has happened to you. And I want to tell you that bitterness also has a way of leading to envy and jealousy, which now become the very venom in bitterness. Because something happens to you, any other person that comes along your way, that person, you want to make them victim of that same thing that has happened to you. No, you should not clamor for things that happen to you that you did not love or like. You should not clamor that same thing to happen to other people. But this is what I watch people do. They say, because I went through this thing, I went through this in the hand of this person, I will do it to another person. You are not happy. You are just, you know, trying to transfer your heart to another person. Which is why they say the people that are hot, they end up hurting people. But you can, this, you can desire to leave that state of, you know, trying to hurt other people. There are some people because they've waited for husband for so long. Or something happened along the line. The people that are married now, they are, they are, they are like enemies to her. Guys, I was in a church one day and somebody came out during testimony to say that all oh, this testimony that people will give and they will say, they'll be saying, um, eh, I want to thank God for my husband. I want to thank God for my children. That is all show off. They are showing off to tell them that don't have husband that they should go and have their own. When she said that thing, all of us went cold. You know, like somebody can actually reason like this. Somebody can actually feel like this. So just imagine if there were married people in the space of that person. Imagine the venom she would be dishing out to such people. But today, she's married. By God's grace. She's married today. And I wonder if she will not be thanking God for her husband. If there is a reason to thank God for the husband. So we must try as much as possible to let what happened to us not to have that serious effect on us because it will lead us to 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 jealousy envy and wickedness you discover that ordinarily you're not a witch but you are acting like one you're never happy when good things happen to people because they never happen to you and you will continue to remain in that state which is why is in, in fact is a state of limitation is a limiter let me use that word is a limiter bitterness is a limiter it will limit you because if you don't wish well for others there is no way any good will come your way so bitterness can hold you back try as much as possible if you are a bitter person search for ways that you can make yourself better so that you will have a better life and it's very important god bless you once again until i come your way with another video Keep basking in the joy of the Lord. God bless you all.